Hello, welcome back everyone. I thought I would bring you in. Um, I'm gonna work on these little four by four canvases. I've already taped the back and I thought I would try a ring pour on them. Um, they're so cute and they are a fantastic idea for people if you do craft fairs. Um, there's an alternative because not a lot of people like to spend a whole lot of money. So it's a good alternative for your clients to buy something these are really great uh, for a bedside table or maybe a desk, something like that. Um, they come with this really cute little easel that they sit on, so that's really cute. Um, I'll leave the link for that in the description box below. I got those from Amazon. Um, all right, let's get started. Now I've layered all the same colors, but not necessarily in the same order for each one. So um, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Actually, I'm gonna pour from this side here. be enough paint okay that's super cute wow so pretty all right let's try the second one layered a little bit differently but all the same colors like I said Very pretty. That one's a really metallic. You probably won't be able to see that until I bring in for a close up, but a lot of that metallic in there. It's so pretty. It's a quick shot there, so. All right. Third one. Okay, pretty, pretty. Get out those air bubbles. And the fourth and final one. Oh, that's heavy on the panes gray. Ooh, that's so pretty. Wowza. Look at all those cells. All right, I'm just gonna move these little cups off to the side. And let's move these around a little bit. Ooh, I'm digging that. That is so pretty. Wow. Get that off a little bit. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Wow, I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe my hands before I move on to the next one. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay. Maybe I need to do this on a larger scale. These small canvases are actually very difficult to work with. You wouldn't think so, but they kind of are. It's interesting. Trying not to get it on the other paintings, of course. Okay. 
side a little bit but in this corner he put it on wrong this time but he did turn it okay very cute very cute I like that I didn't put any white in I was going to and then on such a small canvas, I didn't want the white to be a, the focus. So that's why I decided to not go with the white and just stick with these colors, which will be in the description box below. Um, all right, let's do number three. Come back here. I'm so sorry if you can't see all that well. It's like I say, these little small canvases are actually quite difficult to work with. It's kind of funny. Okay, that one's really lovely too. There's some cell reaction there, which is great. Just adds to the composition of the painting. Oh, so cute. Okay. Fourth and final one. Move it around a little bit here. A bit. Okay. Oh my goodness, those look so cute. Oh, I am happy with those. Okay, let's give them a torch. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. Uh, I'm just going to touch up the sides and I'll bring you in for the wet close-up. All right, here we are with the wet results. Um, they're so darling and I apologize for my overhead light that gives such a reflection there, but look at how cute they are. And so much going on. This one I think might be my favorite. Look at the lacing and the coloring. Oh my goodness, so pretty. We'll move over here. Again, the lacing. Oh, it's so pretty. I think anybody would be happy to have these on their bedside table or their desk at work or desk at home for that matter. I'm really happy with how these turned out. They're so cute and I can't wait to see them dry. So I'll see you in a few days to um, show you the dried results. See you then. Hello and welcome back. Here we are with the little tiny canvases that I did. Now I know in my video I only did four canvases. However, I ended up pulling out a couple more of these little four by fours and doing two more because it was just so pretty and I had the paint and so off camera I thought I would do the other ones and these are the dried results. Now they are adorable. Let's start back here in the left. It's very pretty and they look so cute sitting on these little easels. Oh my goodness they're just adorable and the colors are just so pretty. That one, that one's a little mysterious and it's got some lacing, it's so pretty. And that one, oh, they're so cute. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. So there you have it, little four by fours on easels. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I thank you all. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.